in life when it feels like the whole world is against you are you gonna give up or are you gonna win Valet Park in Denmark like I was Danish She want to vacate so I reservate on Uranus Draped in Versace, no it's purple label But if this was 96 we would shake it in Foxy Spectators try to invade it Millionaire Bachelor here going live Let's wait for some people to join I haven't really uh, did a live stream at the, this early. Like again, I'm testing all of these times to see what's going on. Let me check and see if. Uh... Yeah, I'm all right, cool. So that's working. Um, so tonight we're going to talk about something that's uh, really earth shattering for a couple of different content creators out there. Uh, some things that I did behind the scenes to cause havoc because I had to get to that next level. Fuck all that bullshit. It's either you gonna understand this shit or you not gonna understand this shit, motherfucker. I'm I don't listen, millionaire bastard is not asking anybody to do shit for him. I'm not charging you motherfuckers. I don't want your motherfucking money. I got my own money. I'm standing on my own shit. And that's why we're about to get into this shit. Because motherfuckers played with me. They played with me. So let so let me present. Let me share my screen. Share screen. New tab. So this motherfucker, Marquette Devon Burton, played with me. So let's type in, let's type in Marquette. This motherfucker keep messaging me, man. This shit is fucking annoying. Devon Burton. That's how you spell this shit? I think so. Dot com. Where does it go? Let's see where this shit goes. Hold on one second. That goes to MillionaireBachelor.com and my other website called Kitchen Please. Millionaire Bachelor, putting women in kitchens since 2000. Putting women in kitchens since 2000. Fuck with me. This ain't that. I'm not no bitch. Bitch, I bought your whole fucking name. You had all this money, right? You had all that money, right? You had all that money, right? Let's do it again. MarquetteDevonBurton.com. I bought your fucking name, bitch, because that's what you are. And I named it Kitchen Please because that's where you, you, you bitches need to be. You need bitches need to be in the fucking kitchen. And Marquette is a bitch, so he's going in the kitchen. And also, my name is uh, MillionaireBachelor.com. These motherfuckers can't fuck with me. The real millionaire has fucking arrived. The real millionaire has fucking arrived. I bought your name, bitch. Buy it back, motherfucker. And honestly, to tell you the truth, his name was the cheapest out of all of my websites. Motherfucker, you don't want to go to war with me. You don't want to go to war with me. I wear a mask for a reason. It's not for my protection. It's for your protection. Understand that. Millionaire Bachelor ain't got what he got. I'm buying motherfuckers' domains. And that was the cheapest one that I bought. Out of MillionaireBachelor.com, out of Kitchen Please, Marquette Devon Burton was the cheapest website that I bought. All of you guys on your computer right now, go to MarquetteDevonBurton.com and say hello to Millionaire Bachelor. Fuck him. And I did that because I'm stepping on all these motherfuckers. I'm stepping on you. We're not talking, We this ain't no channel dedicated to you, motherfucker. This is a channel that's dedicated to the realness. Fuck are you talking about? I really come from the trenches. I, you already know, I'm not even going to get into what I would do, but that's my thing. You, you literally spell it, spell it how you spell his name. I got you. Marquette Devon Burton dot com. You spell it how you spell this. I think that's how you spell his name. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he has an E in his name. Wait one second. Marquette. Devon Burton.com. I think it's the second one. Hold on. 
Let me see. Wait, hold on. Let me share my screen again. I'm a cop. Wait, hold on. I think it's this one. M A R Q U E T T E DevonBurton.com. Let me see. Uh Mar. Yeah, M A O R Q U E T T E D A V O N Burton.com. Let me see. And let me go to my wait, is that it? Or did I spell that wrong? Let me see. Maybe it's hold on. More. I don't know what the fuck did I just do. More. What DevonBurton.com, yeah. Oh, hold on. It's kind of hard to see with this mask sometimes. Hold on, I'm trying to do it right now so I can give you so I can show you guys. Oh yeah, there it is. Hold on, I got it again. Let me share my screen. Up, oh, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Present. Sh share screen. Remember, I'm new to all this shit. I don't know how to fucking do none of this shit. So, you go to marquettedevonburton.com. Let's just copy and paste. And then you say hello to fucking Millionaire Bachelor, all right? But this motherfucker's a millionaire. He's supposed to, he's a millionaire, but can't even fucking buy his own name. How are you a millionaire and can't buy your own name online? Huh? How did I buy the shit from you? Millionaire bachelor, putting women in kitchens since 2000. Come on, man. That's when I started fucking. Like these motherfuckers got something on me. Let me put let me put the big screen on. Fuck him. Go to the website. Go tag him on it. Cause this motherfucker started with me like I'm a pussy. I've never been a bitch. I'm from the trenches. Are you serious? And he he claims to have money. He claims to have money. What kind of fucking money do you have? All right, let me start. Let me start reading the uh, reading the chat. The one says, "How's it going, MP? MB? I'm fucking chilling, bro. Like, I'm fucking sipping on my fucking rich man Chimay beer, and I got, dude, I got fucking like ten cases of this shit. I got, I just be chilling, bro. I'm fucking chilling. My life is amazing. I got a pussy equip a pussy appointment in like forty five minutes. I'm great." I'm great. I just woke up today and said, "Oh, this motherfucker, uh, this motherfucker think he 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 really big bank. So let's see who big bank right now. Let me buy this pussy's name. Let me buy it, copyright it. Fuck out of here. You don't got no fucking money. A lying that you're a fucking liar. Millionaire bastard has his fucking money. I'm tired. Listen, I'm tired of you internet motherfuckers playing games like y'all really built like that. Y'all not built like that." Telling me that you really got this money. How the fuck you really got money? And I just bought your fucking name and I pointed it at my own website. I just bought your name and pointed it at my own website. And after this conversation, we're not talking no more because we know who has more money. Millionaire fucking bachelor. Fuck out of here. Conversation over. You stole money like a little bitch and I bought your name. So guess what? I'm going to get every fucking dollar and cent back. Yeah, pussy. Next, Michael says, hell, heck yeah, of course. The one says, just got some co-founders from my app. They're into the party in college for the business parties. That's good. That's good. You know what I mean? You always want to network with individuals that know more than you. And you know what I mean? Individuals that can help you pr propel. I'm going to read through the chats kind of, kind of fast a little bit because, you know, we got a lot to talk about. Uh, that YSL hit. You're absolutely right. And that's a perform. 
That's not no bullshit. Where's that shit at? Where the fuck did I put that? Yeah. This is a perform. $300 a bottle. Yeah, I'm all that's how good it is. I'm fucking almost done this shit. $300 a bottle. Every time I come on here, I pull out a bottle that's $300, $300 or more, and I'm broke. Somehow, Millionaire Bash is broke. How the fuck am I broke? If I'm, come on, bro. Todd, and, and then when I post my life, these motherfuckers said, you know what? You should be humble. I don't even, I didn't even want to fucking show you guys my life. You asked me, tempted me, and said, oh, Millionaire Bash ain't even got what he really got. So I showed you what I had, and then you got mad at me for showing you what I had. That's, see, that's why I don't even give a fuck about you people. I swear to God. Not, not my followers, but that's why I don't give a fuck about the people that are haters and detractors because you can't fucking please them. You cannot please them. You cannot please them. And, and then this motherfucker that worked for me, he's in, in the room that he's supposed to be fucking doing work in. He sends me a picture of the back room and he says, oh, that's the front room. How the fuck is that the front room and isn't it the back of the fucking house? This is what I'm saying. These motherfuckers are stupid, bro. Bro. Oh, yo, this, bro. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, explain shit to these dumbass motherfuckers. I might even, I think I might have to mute this because he keeps, his, his shit keeps buzzing up. Let me see. I'm going to make sure you guys can still hear me because I, I got to mute this computer because this dumb motherfucker don't understand shit. Let me see. I'm going to make sure you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still good. So now you guys will have to hear the uh, the buzzing. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um. How can you balance fame and popularity in a general sense? Fuck fame. I don't want no fucking fame. All of these people that got their face shown in the fucking camera, all of these motherfuckers, honestly, they're a slave to fame. I don't have to be a slave to fame. I can go outside tomorrow. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. I asked myself when I was like 22, 23, what do you want to be? I said, I want to be a millionaire that nobody fucking knows about. All of this shit that we want, all of this popularity bullshit that we fucking want is, is bullshit. It's not even fucking real popularity contest to get some pussy. No, Millionaire Bash is going to pop up on that ass. Let me see. Broke people always hate. They mad because they lazy and have nothing to show for themselves. Exactly. Millionaire Bachelor. Let me tell you something. I might Millionaire Bachelor might be lazy too, but you know what I do to curb my laziness? I work extremely hard for a limited portion of time so I can fucking reap the rewards later. So I can fucking reap the rewards later. These motherfuckers ain't on my level. Lit website, bro. Absolutely. I bought, I bought his fucking name. MarquetteDevonBurton.com now comes to me. I'm going to get my fucking money back that you stole, bitch. Damn, that's cold. You got them right. I'm the motherfucking coldest. Nice. Hell yeah. How you spell it? Uh, M-A-R-Q-U-E-T-T-E. Uh, D A V O N Burton B U R T O N dot com, motherfucker. And all that that's that's mine now, fucker. Okay, I had trouble spelling it. Okay, I penned it. Yeah, the second one works. How how the second one works, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he claimed he claims to be this millionaire jet setting motherfucker. But yet the real millionaire is the person that really fucking displaced you. You're a pussy. You don't have no fucking real money. That's what we're going to talk about. You know, we got to talk about this real shit. And people say, oh, man, but you fuck too many women. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Am I not supposed to spread my seed? Am I not supposed to fuck these bitches? I pull out at least. You got to give me credit for that. I'm not just busting in all these bitches. 
give me credit for something. Because if you know what it seems like? It seems like motherfuckers want to give me credit for nothing. Because if, if I was broke, you know what? When I, when I was broke, nobody ain't want to fuck with me. When I got money, everybody is upset with me. That's why Millionaire Bachelor doesn't care. Because it's like damned if you damn, do, damned if you don't. So guess what? I'm just going to fucking just live my fucking life. I'm just going to fucking live my fucking life. That motherfucker, his channel is mine. I own him now. He's owned by Millionaire Bachelor. And guess what, fellas? I did not provoke him. I did not bother him. Only thing I did was faithfully paid him a couple thousand dollars to do an interview with me. That's all I did. He got mad because I told the truth about him and he erased that interview. So, okay, you want to play dirty? So I'm going to play dirty. I'm going to buy your fucking name. It, it's really just that simple. I'm going to buy your fucking name. Make, make some money now, snick. You, you goddamn uh, snake ass motherfucker. Do you have super chats available normally or is it off normally? Well, you got to understand my channel's new. You know, my channel's new. So I don't even, honestly, I don't even have the fucking ability for, for super chats uh, because I haven't pushed it. I would, based on the trajectory that I'm seeing right now, I'll probably have super chat by the, by the end of the month, just by how fast the shit is growing right now. For a, for a period of time, I kind of pause YouTube to really focus on re, uh, remodeling my entire um, real estate portfolio. That's literally what I was doing from New York to D.C. to Philadelphia. I paused YouTube completely and I literally went to go renovate those places. So now that I'm back on, motherfuckers got a problem now. Now that I'm done doing that, now motherfuckers got a problem. Yeah, they got a problem. <laughs> How did you get rich? Real estate, man. I just invested in real estate and I, I tell the story a thousand different times and it's there's probably there's probably about like 10 videos that that actually talk about it but briefly I'll, I'll speak about it um basically I invested in my first property uh lived there for a year anybody who invests in real estate knows what I'm talking about lived there for a year um and then like one or you know I think it was like a year and a half later I pulled out equity you know the, the property had appreciated so much more than I even anticipated. And I got a heavy down payment of, a, a well, through a HELOC, which is a home equity line of credit. I took that money and I, I just bought another property and I kept going, 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 going. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's what the rich do. The rich just take equity out of properties and they just keep fucking going. Uh, now I will say I had a cheat code. My cheat code was, you know, Airbnb was out. So I was able to buy single family households and I was able to make uh, triple the income by literally just separating them, separating them out to, you know, rooms or, or whatever, whatever you have it. All right, next. Nice. What's up, Rich Dax? Don P, of course. Um, is being popular in college worth it? Uh, not publicly, but locally known like small circle. It's really not because you, you're going to get turned out. You feel what I'm saying? Like you're going to get turned out to feeling fame. Like fame is is really nothing to play with, man. Like you guys think that fame is 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 something that's good. Like I experienced fame. I'm talking about driving in fancy cars, you know, living in hot places. I experienced fame in a major in a major East Coast city, and I experienced what the fuck the hate comes with it. When you're driving the hottest shit, right, and you're in like a downtown area, people they they're gonna think that you're gonna fuck their bitches. And, and rightfully so. I mean, I'm not saying that I would fuck anybody, bitches, but they think like that because they say this motherfucker has the opportunity to take my bitches from me. And they're right. I do have the opportunity to take your bitches from you, but I'm just not that individual. I'm not fighting over a bitch. I'm just not doing that. That's your bitch. You can fucking have her. Matter of fact, I don't want her because she fucked you. Like, I don't fuck behind anybody. That's what these weird ass fucking, you know, celebrities and that's what they do. I don't fuck behind anybody. Well, that I know of, you know, what I mean, like, obviously, I'm fucking behind somebody because most of these bitches are not virgins, but I'm not fucking behind nobody in the sense of my homie has sex with this girl. So I'm, no, I'm not into that, bro. I'm not into that. Uh, how did he scam you, bro? Just watch the video. All you got to do is watch the video. I paid him for an interview. The interview was supposed to be on his platform. He has more followers than me. So that's why I paid him money. That's why I paid him money because I did not have any followers at the time and I am a businessman. I am a businessman. 
So I said, okay, this guy has 100,000 followers. Let me pay him a couple bucks to get my, you know what I mean, get my shit off the ground. And during the time, he was basically, you know, when we were having an interview, he was kind of dissing me during the interview. So I, I played it off. Next video, dissing me more. Because my star power on his video was outshining his star power. He thought he was great. He thought he was Michelangelo. No, motherfucker, I'm that in real life. You're that on camera. Okay? So then, after I put that, that video out telling him what I really thought, he goes and takes the video down. But the contract said that, yo, you're supposed to, you're supposed to fucking pay me. Or I'm supposed to pay you to put a video on your platform. So if you take it down, why don't you give me my money back? You took it down. Give me my fucking money back. He didn't. I, I let it slide because, again, I was renovating my my properties. So I didn't really have time to really even focus on it. But I'm done now. I renovated a part the part of my portfolio that needed to be renovated. I'm done now. Now we could talk. Now let's have a talk. All right. Come by for a verbal combat uh, sometime. The prize is promotion for a week all on my channel and in july we start hundred dollar prize well listen speak easy even though sometimes you piss me off sometimes i do i do respect your grind you know what i mean i i still respect your fucking grind like i cannot agree with how somebody thinks but i can still respect their grind you have a great you 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 gotta grind man you know, even though your material is not necessarily something I would, you know, overindulge in, you have a grind and I respect that. I'm a businessman. I respect anybody with a grind. So if you need me to come on, you want me to come on, you just let me fucking know. Just send a message to the management at the website, the uh, email that I sent you, and we'll make it happen. Again, I already got respect for you. You might think that I don't have respect for you, but as a businessman, you have to be able to separate how you emotionally think about somebody and how that person really is in reality. Anybody that'll sit in front of a camera and that streams for six hours is a hardworking person. So, you know what I mean? I got respect for you. So if you need something, just send a message out and let me know. It's an open panel, blood sport debate. But um, shout out to the raw dogs. I mean, raw dog kings. You feel what I'm saying? Listen, I'm not, you got to, in order to get into that raw dog lifestyle, you have to know what you're doing. You cannot raw dog the wrong bitch. You cannot. You feel what I'm saying? You will definitely end up with an itchy dick. Uh, so I would not do that. But you have to know how to pick the bitches the raw dog. You know, you have to ask them certain questions and see how they're feeling. And, you know, I, I listen, I'm not even going to lie. You know, I had a I had a chick in, in my fucking swimming pool and I said to myself, as stupid as it might sound, as dumb as it might sound, I said, you know what? I can't catch anything. It's chlorine in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was the dumbest thing. That might have been the dumbest thought that I I think I've ever fucking had. And I proceeded to fuck her with no condom because there was chlorine in the pool. So uh yeah. Don't be like millionaire bachelor. Don't do that. Uh the second one works. But the first one is the right spelling. Let me see. M A R Q U E T C E. No, no, no. He spells it. No, no, no. He spells it with uh, two T's and an E or two E's and a T. Let me see. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. And even if not, this is... Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I guess he spells it without that E, but it doesn't matter. It's close enough to be fucking to his name anyway. Motherfucker should be able to fucking buy that back. Matter of fact, let me see if that one's for sale. I'll buy that one too. Nice, sir. You motherfuckers think I'm playing. I'm not playing. Watch this shit. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just doing some recon online right now. There's somebody, let me see. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. It's close enough. I still own that motherfucking shit. And the way I spelt it is fucking the right way to spell it anyway. So like I said, fuck him. Next. What's the truth? Well, uh, don't ask him because he won't be able to give you the truth. Uh, if you come in to my show, uh, you will get your words out. I have viewers last night. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Speak easy. You got a lot of. You got a lot of uh, people. When you want me to, you got to tell me when you want me to come on, so I can do it. Do you trade forex at all? No, I don't trade that shit, man. Like I, I invest in shit that I fucking that I know about. I know about real estate. I don't fucking know about foreign exchange. I really don't. I mean, like I can I can gather an understanding about foreign exchange, but um, it's not my expertise, you know, so I won't give advice on something that I have no fucking clue about. Hold on one second. So start asking some questions. Gather your. That was that was the plumber again, man. The plumber fucking is, you know. I mean, like, I'm not upset with him. I'm not upset with him, you know, because the thing about it is, like, even if you get upset with a person, man, you also have to be level headed and level set with that person. You know, you don't want to make them feel like too bad. So if you make them feel bad a little bit, you always reel it back in and say, you know what? But I appreciate it that you did this. You know what I mean? Just to let them know you're not completely a dick. Like, if you slap your dogs once, it's okay. But you also got to rub their bellies, you know, too, to let them know, like, yo, man, I'm not a monster. So, you know, even though he pisses me off, I'm not going to overly just degrade anybody. That's not my personality. You know what I mean? Hey, Mimby, you already know I'm back. You already know I'm back. Hey, I respect that for real. You already know. You already know. Uh, do you play poker, bro? Yeah, actually, I do. Actually, I do. Um, I, Man, if I... If I fucking wanted to tell you, well, if I could tell you guys more stuff without you getting upset with me, but I go to some of the hottest, um, you know, cigar lounges in uh, in New York City, in Manhattan, and they have, shit, I can't even tell you that, because then you guys are fucking going to Google which one has it. But let me just say, I play it. I play it at some cool places. Uh, I'll meet, email you, contain the details to come from, oh, yeah, that's fine, man. Just let me know, bro. I got you. Uh, do you invest in startups? Yeah, I mean, every fucking house I buy is a fucking startup. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> every fucking house I buy is a startup, man. But if you mean like startups in in terms of like um, like tech companies and stuff like that, nah, no. Like I said, like my my the way that I got what I, what I have is is literally just very very straightforward, man. There's no punches with with my stuff. It's literally just real estate. I use real estate and then I used a concept within real estate to propel me forward with the cash flow side. That's it. You know, I invested in typically what would be known as long term, long term rentals. And then I took that and I utilized the, the short term opportunities in terms of Airbnb, Verbo, Booking.com that were available to capitalize. And then once I got my money, pulled equity out, bought bigger shit. 
So I was able to tailor or, or literally decrease my reliance on short term and go full, full uh, long term. You know, once you get long term, you're really not doing much. You know what I mean? Especially if you're buying, you know, for the most part, renovated houses with, you know, HVAC system intact, uh, hot water tank intact. You're really not going to have any issues. You know, I had an issue with one of my, you know, one of my buildings in, in D.C. and that had a new HVAC system and literally a, a new HVAC system two years, two years old. And I said, what the hell's going on? Because the heat wasn't coming on, but there was something wrong with the condenser. And they came out because I had a warranty and they installed the part for free. You know what I mean? So it's you don't really have to be at this. Once you start to invest in, you know, long term, you know, real estate, you, you're really passive, man. Uh, example tech companies. No, nah, I haven't. I'm not gonna lie. I just been real estate. Um, what's the truth you told about Mark the Sanders Center that he didn't like? Uh, if you have explained periods, will you give a quick yeah, a quick synopsis is I he didn't like the fact that I made a video say, you know, basically saying, like, yo, why the fuck did you diss me? You know what I mean? I paid you I paid you fifteen hundred dollars. So if I'm paying you money and people are saying in your chat and you're alluding to me not being a real millionaire, then that's like that doesn't make any sense. I paid you thousands of dollars. Clearly, if anybody would be closer to a millionaire, it would be somebody that paid you thousands of dollars. Maybe I could be scamming. Maybe I could not be scamming. Who fucking knows? But I paid you that fucking money. So when people were talking shit, it's not for you to chime in and then say, you know what I mean, almost to make it seem like I'm not who I say I am. But I fucking paid you money. I paid you more money than most probably anybody's ever paid you. So you should have been, if anything, you should have said, you know what? Nah. This guy, he he's a real deal. He really paid me money. And, and that's why MarquetteDevonBurton.com is pointing to my website because he's a bitch. My website called Kitchen Please because that's where I put my bitches. I've been putting bitches in kitchens since 2000. All right, next. Okay, sorry for the redundant question. First time here. No, I get you, man. I get you. I get you. What you want to do... What you want to do since it's your first time, you know, after I get off this live and I uh, attend to my pussy appointment, you want to go ahead and you want to like just start watching content. Just start watching content. You'll understand it. everything I'm saying. And that's how you know whether a motherfucker is telling the truth. Everything that I say remains consistent. And I'm glad you brought that up, Last Emperor, because I'm going to say this again and I'm going to clip this. I want to clip this. The reason why I wear a mask. Is not for my safety, it's for your safety. That's number one. I just want to preface it with saying that. Now, let's get to the bottom of why I wear a mask. I wear a mask because I don't want fame. In my life, I'm already fucking famous. So why do I want fame? You have to tell, you have to give me a reason for me to want fame when I already understand what fame brings. Fame brings agony, fame brings pain. Fame brings jealousy. Fame brings motherfuckers that want to kill you just because of who you are. There are motherfuckers out here that will that literally will look for a reason to kill your ass because they are upset and jealous that they don't have shit. Imagine you're driving in 911 drop top 911s that most motherfuckers are not driving in. You're driving and you're younger than all of these motherfuckers. And then they see you enjoying your life and they can't do the same thing that you can do. That inspires hate. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen fucking hate. So that's not a lifestyle that I want to live. I don't want to be famous. I don't want motherfuckers to know who I am. And third and finally, I'm a fucking artist. I'm an artist. I'm a real estate guy that tapped into his artistry in the year of 2020 during the pandemic. And I started painting. I'm a fucking artist. I look at this like a fucking art form. There you have it. So what's the plan for Mr. MB? Well, the plan for me is, well, I pretty much have everything I, I, I want right now in terms of in America, but the plan for me, and this was on another video that I had, um, I want to build a luxury tree house in my Manhattan home. That's number one. And then number two, I'm going to invest in real estate externally, either in the Caribbean or somewhere where bitches respect guys a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really, even though I'm able to fuck a lot of chicks and all that stuff, I don't really like dealing with the whole back and forth. 
you know. So those are the two top things that I have. You know, I want to buy a build a, a luxury tree house. I'm probably going to import like a 18 foot oak tree um, in Manhattan. And the tree is going to take 10 years to set. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it creatively. I'm going to create a foundation built in built around the tree. So just because you don't put it on the tree doesn't necessarily mean it's not a tree house. I'm going to build the foundation and I'm going to build it in a circle around the tree house. I mean, around the uh, the tree trunk. So that those are the two plans for me. I mean, my plans are not really, you know, I know you might say like, hey, man, do you want to just fucking make more money? No, I'm just trying to make my life more convenient at this point. Those are literally my plans to make my life more convenient. That's it. I want to build a kitchen in the tree house. I want to, you know, have, I want to do some like cool shit. Like a tree house in Manhattan is fucking cool. You know what I mean? Like a bitch come over like, yo, man, where we about to go? We about to go to the fucking tree house. You got a fucking tree house? I've been dreaming about this shit all my life. I don't know. Millionaire bachelor knows. Next, uh, do you have any investment properties outside of the United, United, uh, excuse me, United States? No, not currently. And that's why I said that's my next move. So my next move is to go internationally, especially what's going on with the BRICS countries. Uh, that's a different discussion, you know, but I always talk about that. Wait, hold on. I missed some money. Okay. So buying a domain with keywords, uh, was one of the first things I did setting up real estate business. I'm doing, I'm working on knowing my numbers now. That's lit. That's lit. I'm, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not too sure what that means, but it, it sounds like something that's lit. <laughs> You know, buying a domain with keywords. Uh, so I'm guessing that it can target directly to your website. Um, again, I'll be honest with you. I really got on social media in 2000 and what, 22? Uh, in terms of not even YouTube. I've, I've only been on YouTube for like 11 months. And six of those months, I, w I really wasn't even active. So, all right, next. Let's see what's next. Uh, what skills do you recommend uh, learning in this time of age, digital skills, man, you have to do digital marketing. That's a thousand percent true. Digital marketing all the fucking way. Uh, what do you do if your dad keeps making bad decisions over and over nonstop? For example, he spent 200K on a shop and bro, you just got to separate from people like that. You know, I, I know it sounds kind of fucked up, but you can't. That's that's like fucking with a bad bitch with a credit card problem. To like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Uh, because what it, what is, what's going to happen is it's going to wind up fucking you up. You, you can still love somebody, but love them from a distance. Like, you got your thing going on. I got to be a man. And when I turned, you know, when I went to college, I left the house, man. I was 18. I was out. I, I never returned. I never returned. Because I'm I'm a man about mine, like you know what I mean. I stood on all my my ten toes and I believed in myself. You got to believe in yourself and you got to say, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Does, does that mean you be dis disrespectful to your father? Absolutely not, because technically he still made you. But you know, at the end of the day, everybody everybody can have a shortcoming. It doesn't matter who you who the fuck you are. You can have a fucking shortcoming. Fuck yeah, that part of course. Uh, on occasions. One case is a gambling addiction, and he, oh, yeah, anybody with a gambling addiction, that's a motherfucker that you got to get away from. I can tell you that right now. Uh, the shop's not making as much money. Well, he got a gambling addiction, so, I mean, you know, anybody with an addiction to gambling is probably not a person that's going to, you know, be able to to, to help prosper. So, when, when I look at, uh, I'm a businessman, so when I look at, uh, you know, writing somebody off, I look at certain things about them. I look at addictions first. I look at chronic uh, things that they, they chronically do that they cannot stop. Like a woman that's eating a lot, she has an eating disorder, leave her because she has deeper issues. Person that has gambling issues, get the fuck away from them because you don't want gambling uh, issues. You have to learn from everybody around you. You have to learn from everybody around you, man. Okay. Good to see the live view count goes up. The message is getting out there, of course. And that's why I've been telling everybody, you have to like the content. I've only been on, on this space for 11 months and le legitimately only six months out of those, those months, I've really been active. 
you know, but other than that, I was just planning and, and, and just, you know, watching how things move and the quickest way to get the, the, the message out there so I can give you guys more content. You have to like it so it can get out there, you know, so I can do things like, I mean, like e even if it's like get monetized for like, uh, what is it? What are they called for the ads and all that bullshit that helps me, you know, because again, you guys seen my, my studio equipment. That's a, it's eleven thousand dollars. Even though I have the money at the same time, why not let why not let the ads pay for the shit for you? So I can then do this, do that, do this, do this, do this, do this. You know what I mean? I want I want the channel to progress with the viewership because that's the long term success. The success is not a uh, overnight one hit wonder. This is not what we're creating at all. All right. Uh, he doesn't have a damn late, gambling edition. He's sober. He doesn't even drink. He's just stupid. He moved to Vegas area where other homeless have this. There, they aren't buying uh, beauty. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Like it, the area that he's in, they have a uh, gambling addiction. Um, listen, man, it's 2024. You got to stop making excuses for people in terms of you know how he is at this point. You just don't want to accept it. You know what I mean? You have to, you, you got to live on your own, bro. And I know you might be scared because you might be saying, well, what if I live on my own and I fuck up and he won't let me back into the house and, I, and then I end up on the streets? Well, that's a possibility. But if your dad is like that, then that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like if, if I lose everything today, I know for a fact I cannot live with my dad. This motherfucker is unbearable. I can never live with him. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if I really, really needed it, uh, he would be there. So uh, it's unfortunate when if you have a dad that just really doesn't get it. But, man, you got to figure that shit out. You got to figure that shit out. So, again, before I get out of here, we're going to show again. I bought this motherfucker's name because he's a fucking lame. Marquette. All right, Devon Burton. Now points to millionairebachelor.com and, and it also points to kitchenplease.com because I've been putting it says, it says it says it it says it right here. Uh millionaire bachelor putting women in kitchens since 2000. All right. And uh your boy is a bitch, so you know he has to get in, you know, he has to go into the fucking kitchen. Uh I'm a commercial uh building concierge in NYC. I can do almost whatever. Uh, want here, but the pay is $16 an hour. Uh, should I sacrifice the free time I have here for a higher paying job? Well, I can tell you this, my friend, if you live in New York City, you can definitely make way more than $16 an hour. I mean, New York City has the cheapest services for anything. Like if I wanted to fucking get a, get a fucking couch from Ikea and have somebody fucking pick it up, I can do it and pay them like 20 bucks. Imagine if you were that service. Because you have to understand there's so many people and so many people are looking for so many fucking things. So you have to find out a creative way to fill the gap between what people need and it, uh, what they need. And if you're saying, OK, I'm only making 16 dollars an hour. How can I make more? What the fuck do people need? What do they need? I remember when I was moving furniture from one place, just my personal residence. And I was like, damn, everything's closed right now. How the fuck am I going to get this couch? Blah, blah, blah. I went on Yelp. I literally found a service of a motherfucker that's a mail carrier and that carries anything anywhere in New York City. He gets in. Of course, he was uh, Latina or whatever the fuck you call it, maybe Mexican. And he was like, hey, how can I help you? And I said, oh, shit, let me take your information down. And every time I need something moved, I call him. But imagine how many people do that. It's big business. You got to think outside of the box. You're in New York City, baby. You're in New York City, fucking baby. The greatest fucking city in the fucking world. The greatest city in the fucking world is New York fucking city. And I don't care what anybody says about it. It's the greatest city in the fucking world. It's the most ingenuity in that fucking city. And what they're doing in the city, trying to trample on people's rights, is fucked up. They're trying to trample on people's rights and they're trying to kill the middle class. But guess what? This motherfucker from Brooklyn called Millionaire Bachelor, I found a way. Because I said, fuck them and fuck the system. And you got to feel the same way. Until next time. And fuck Marquette.